questions every Tuesday on technobuffalo.com. We put up an article saying, ask your questions. And quite obviously, you just put them in the comments. Or if you prefer social media, you can send it to me at John Four Lakers or at Technobuffalo. Ask your question and use hashtag AskTheBee so I can find it. Up this week, we're going to talk about phone upgrade choices, iPhone 6, and Google Glass. This is Ask the Buffalo. Let's start asking. So our first question comes from the name Poppins Debo. I kind of just want to say that again. Poppins Debo. At John Four Lakers, asked the B, I've never had an Android phone before. I currently own an iPhone 5. Do you think it's a good idea to go for the Galaxy S5? Well, part of me just wanted to say, ask the commenter. See what they have to say. Should you trade your iOS device for Galaxy S5? Leave it in the comments. If you're asking me, I don't know. That's really such a, a personal choice. Uh, iPhone 5 certainly will still a very good phone. We certainly considered last gen's uh, technology. If you want to try Android, you know, it could certainly be a good choice to go for. Uh, Switch if you want a bigger screen. Uh, switch if you want to be able to see your information a little more quickly with the ability to have uh, widgets. Do not switch uh, if you're fully ensconced in the Apple ecosystem because it's going to be quite a pain uh, to go back and forth. Uh, it really can come down to personal preference. If you want to change, I've been using iOS for a while, I want to try something fresh, then yeah, give it a shot, see if you like it. Uh, if you really just sort of want something new, uh, then you might want to wait and see what Apple comes out with for the iPhone 6, you know, to see if maybe that might be a good choice. So the real answer for you is, I don't know, it's going to be your decision. Speaking of iPhone 6, user at Traben asks, at John 4 Lakers, when do you expect Apple to release the iPhone 6, and what do you think they're going to have to do with it to compete against Samsung? Well, I think we're going to see a similar release cycle. Although conflicting reports have said we might see the iPhone 6 way, way earlier, as early as May or June. I think, though, we're going to see the iPhone 6 come out sometime in August, September, usually the traditional time frame. Fingers crossed, uh, we're going to see a bigger version, either 4.5 or 4.7, and even as crazy a rumor that it might be 5.5 inches, even though that wasn't your question. I'm just excited for it. Uh, I'd probably say maybe early Q4 into Q3 uh, will be when we'll see the iPhone 6. I want to take a minute to thank our friends and sponsors at Netflix. I have a Netflix problem. I've been watching so much Netflix. I think they've got some of the best original programming out there. We've been binge watching on House of Cards. Orange is the New Black Season 2 is coming back on. You should check out Netflix. You can get it on almost any platform. Uh, most phones and tablets, all the consoles, your Wii U's, your Xboxes, your Playstations. Get Netflix. Uh, you really just should do it right now. Stop watching the video. Uh, go to Netflix.com slash Buffalo to get your free 30-day trial. You're missing out on some awesome Emmy Award winning content. Again, that is Netflix.com slash Buffalo. And back to the video. Next question comes from the website, the appropriately named Techno Lover. I hope that's because you have a love of technology, not like you're literally a techno lover. Asks, hey, I got offered by Google to use Glass. Should I wait for the consumer version instead? So Google Glass, you can essentially beta test it for $1,500. That is really, really, really expensive. So assuming Google didn't offer you a free pair of Google Glass, and if they did, then yes, absolutely take it. Uh, I think at this point, you're probably better off waiting. Uh, Google Glass has been around for quite a while now, during the second iteration. I would assume that they're probably getting closer to a consumer release version, which hopefully will have a much, much, much lower price point. If, though, you like to be on the cutting edge, you want to wear, as Brandon Russell calls it, a face computer, uh, Google Glass certainly, I think, still the best out there. Uh, it's very, very much still in beta. The utility of it is still to be determined. Uh, but I say hold on to your 1500 bucks, invest it, put it in a bag under your mattress, save it, uh, and probably keep half of it for the consumer version, and keep the other half to buy yourself something nice. Buy your mom something nice, and you should probably call her too. It's been, been way too long. Thank you guys for watching another episode of Ask the Buffalo. I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm back every week answering all of your questions. I'm John Bredger from Techno Buffalo. I'll check you guys out in the next video. Bye bye. What's up, everyone? Thank you for watching that video. If you want to see more of the latest and greatest tech news, you can subscribe to our main Techno Buffalo channel by clicking the button right down below in my pants region, or click on the buttons to your right to see more videos.